Okay, so I'm in R here, and we are going to look at how to calculate the probability mass function of the sum of k independent binomials. And what I want to do first is sort of illustrate this idea with a very simple example of two, this, we're going to sum two binomials, x1 and x2, where the binomials are uh, 4 and 0.4 and 2 and 0.7. So I want to store these ends in a vector. 4 and 2, so those are the possible sample sizes, and then uh, the, the binomial probabilities, 0.4 and 0.7, which are here. Now, if we think about this, the possible values that y can take on are anywhere from 0 to 6, and it really depends upon the values that x1 can take on, the values of x2 can take on. So there's what's called an expand grid function in R and it, uh, it, what it does is find all the possible sequences of two sequences that you put in. Now they don't have to be numbers, they could be characters, but here we know that x1 goes from 0 to 4 and x2 goes from 0 to 2, so let's plug that in. And what it does is it's, it, this is all possible ways that those sequences can happen. So now if we look at this, the probability that y is 0 well, is the probability that x1 is 0 times the probability that x2 is 0, and that's it. But the probability of y equal 1, well, there's two ways that can happen. x1 can be 1, x2 is 0, or x1 is 0 and x2 is 1. So we need to find the probability of this event and add it to the probability of this event. So let's look at, look at that. So... I, I took the total of each row and put it here and now I want to calculate the probability of each of these events and multiply it times the probability of each of these events and then I'm going to put it back into this column. So this column is a probability that x1 takes on this value times the probability that x2 takes on this value. But we're not quite finished yet because somehow we need to combine these. So the probability that y can be 3 is the this probability plus you know this probability plus this probability well there's a convenient way to do that in R that's called aggregate so what it does is it takes values that we put here combines them in a way that where that it by this stratification variable so for like values of total or tot do this function and we just want to add them so if we look at that, it takes these and then adds them up, and um, that's it. So let's let's plot this and see what it looks like. So there it is. There's the sum of two independent binomials. Let's check that these all these values sum to one, and that's what this is. Yep, sums to one. So now we need to generalize that put it in a general function. So we're going to create a function called probability mass function of sum of k binomials. And it's going to take on a value, a vector value of n and a vector value of p. So then what it does, this command is a way to trick it into that expand grid for all possible values of n. So if, if this is a vector of size 3, then there's going to be three commands in here, and, it, you know, and that matrix is going to get expanded to, to that. Very similar to what we did up top. We're going to add the row sums, and then this is the way to find the probability of each column, multiply them together, and then you know, store it at the end like we did. And then we're just going to add those uh, probabilities of you know, stratifying on the total here. Okay, so let's uh, let's run this function, and then let's put it to use. So here's example one. It's we're going to add three binomials together. We're going to put put these values into our new function, and we we come up with that very quickly. Let's uh, uh, plot it, see what it looks like. Check to see if they add to one, and they do. So that's uh, pretty neat. So here's sum of four independent binomials. Uh, let's plot it. There it is. Let's check to see if they add to one. They do. Now in example three, there's a, uh, a, 
a theorem that says if you sum independent binomials with the same probabilities or you know the proportion that it's really it's an it's just another binomial with these added in so let's check that so here is the uh, the probability mass function for y the sum of those five independent binomials with 0.3 as the the probability so now it says that the the, the new binomial is the sum of these values that's the n so it can take on values from 0 to 25 and here are the here are the you know the probabilities of each event so let's plot those on top of this on top of this graph with dots to see if they equal and they do so it's exactly the same so anyway that's a it's kind of a fun little way to calculate the probably mass function for y the sum of independent variables but I must say that this way of creating this huge matrix, so if you get, if it gets too big, it's really going to eat up a lot of time and memory because that can get pretty massive fat. So it's not maybe an efficient way to add a lot, a lot of binomials or maybe, you know, a medium sized number of binomials, you know, where N is big in each of those. But anyway, that's a, Cute, fun little function. Hope you enjoyed it.